Hi, this is Daniel Fagella, Head of Research here at Emerge Artificial Intelligence Research, and I'm shooting this video for the OECD. We're talking about the future of financial services, and uh, our research has to do with primary interviews with enterprise leaders, such as heads of AI at organizations like HSBC and U.S. Bank, and literally hundreds of disruptive companies in the financial services and banking ecosystems. And the trend I'd like to double down on is the, the fact that the preponderance of AI investments and real AI traction has to do with back-end processes, while forward-facing, customer-facing uh, processes such as chatbots, new mobile interfaces, marketing approaches tend to get a lot of buzz and a lot of hype and tend to make banks look very modern and hip. Uh, the place where the money is actually going is in risk-related functions, that is to say compliance, cybersecurity, and fraud. We see safely over half of the funds raised across the AI and banking disruptive ecosystem when it comes to AI uh, go into these areas. And this presents two opportunities for the OECD. One is a place to breathe life into some of the OECD's principles around fairness and reducing bias. Some of these processes, lending being very high up there on some level, some elements of cybersecurity, uh, can be biased in ways that would break the law or break the values of the banks that are operating these systems. So these are great places to, again, turn these principles into action. And second, we see a huge amount of the financial services ecosystem uh, walking on eggshells when it comes to adopting AI because everything feels like it's going to be a PR gaffe and a PR risk because everything is going to be biased in some terrible way. And the OECD has done some great work on being able to rank and order applications based on how much risk they actually pose. There are many very innocuous, completely low-risk applications that will add value to the company, to the shareholders, and to the customers that we should feel confident moving forward with. And there's others that do involve more scrutiny. And so those are two opportunities where I think uh, the trends that we see in the market and the great work the OECD is doing are coming together in ways that could be valuable and important.